One of the uh, setup dependables. Oh yeah, you can put him down for the setup. Yep. Okay, so oh, so he's the pit player. Interesting. Actually, you know what? I think I've played. I think I've played Chum before too. Well, it's going to be uh, the Wario colored Mario here versus Green Pit. Starting off on Battlefield Game One. All right, well, already I'm immediately noticing that John Rob has a little bit more of a solid neutral than Chum does. I mean, it's kind of expected as a pit player because, especially now in this meta where you really need to have your neutral game like on lock and key. And you know, Chum here, he's looking for some interesting follow-ups out of those down throws. Yeah. With this rage starting to build up here for Chum, his normal like up tilt might start getting messed up a bit. Of course, Pit is still at very low percent, so Mario can come up with some interesting follow ups out of grab if he can get the opportunity. But right now, not even getting the chance. This is just John Rob holding the edge. Yep, and that's the game plan for Pit is get get continue to win stage control until your opponent is at such an absurdly high percent that you can get maybe some sort of straight hit to kill. Because oh, like that. That's a really <laughs> It's a really brave call out. Starting to pick up on those ground habits early and often. Well, when you're up this far ahead, you can kind of go for those risks. Although that forward tilt was definitely not risky. Just coming out perfectly at the right time. That's going to be killing. Oh, those dash dances. Okay. Showing a little bit of flash in this play. Getting a quick combo in here. And again, just challenging straight ahead. I like what I'm seeing here from John Rob. Yeah, he's this looking, is, this is looking super solid. tight. This is super, super tight. All right, now Chum's starting to respond with a little bit of randomness on his end. Because that's, that's the thing with kind of players like this, where if they have a super solid neutral, they are expecting their opponent to play one way or another when they're really into the groove. When they start to throw out some random stuff, they may end up getting a read by accident. And then, <laughs> you know, it, der it derails the train a little bit. And it's up to uh, the player who's still doing consistently well to kind of shore that up and make sure that nothing's getting too off kilter. Well, now we see the shield coming out there. Not going to get hit by the orb guard that time. Yeah, really, the uh, the one big thing that Chum just needs to do, he needs to start shielding because if he's staying in shield, then he has options to kind of deal with how well John Rob is kind of controlling neutral and seeing his play style. Oh, okay, that up smash Ooh. is going to take it here. and That's going to be the two stock. Not Taunt and then he's just gonna peace out. John Rob, super super clean. I liked, you know how, just like that was just pure stage control from start to finish. You know, and someone as someone who's been picking up Mario a little bit from time to time here for myself, like sometimes I can feel like I get in these matchups where it's just like, how do I even get in? And that might be. What this Mario here is thinking. Yeah. See, here's the thing. Like, with this kind of matchup, it benefits both if the players are on their fundamentals. Like, Pitt is at his best when he's in the hands of somebody who understands how to play the neutral game of just this game in general and how to exploit certain character matchups. Mario can do the same thing. It's all about having a just kind of a bread and butter toolkit that can catch all. But it's just that because Mario has such a better time and advantage state that he can convert off of it more and he can Yeah, get but he's got to get there first. That's the catch. Yeah. So you just got to exercise your basics, you know, trying to bait them into an unsafe approach with punishing, that sort of thing. And if you apply that to either of these characters, you're going to get with some really great results. John Robb showed it in the first game. Chum's starting to show he's starting to adapt to a couple of aspects of John Robb's play style, and I think one thing that uh, John Robb is starting to do, he's really not respecting uh, Chum's space as uh, a Mario. Yes, he's starting to get a. He's he's confident. He's oh that. Could okay, be dead. don't do that though. That is D E A D. Don't do that. Dead. <laughs> that that's a mistake that happens to everyone once, which is the I overextended on the Smashville taxi platform mistake. It only needs to happen to you one time before you realize you're never going to make that mistake again. You just die at like an absurdly low percent, and then this game just tilted on its head. It was even, it was, yeah, and now and, here we are. Yeah, and now John Rob has a lot of room to work with. He, he also now has Rage, which is a huge benefit for Pit, which means that any sort of kill setups are probably going to come a little bit earlier at probably a more reasonable percent because that's the one big problem with Pit is as good as he can be sometimes in the neutral, sometimes... You just can't find that last hit to secure the kill. Knocking right. him out of the side B before the armor takes place. 
Uh, all right, Kofi's starting to get something cooking here. Yep. He's pinning Pit to the side of the stage, but all right, that one's going to break through. Forward throw once again, just kind of regaining. Trying to go for the offstage spike. I think that he should just try to kind of get his recovery while he's high. Oh, that's dead. Oh, no. Well, he could attack. He could attack it, and that could have saved him. So, wow. All right, that was quick. John Robb with the uh, with the quick 2-0 to start us off here tonight. That was really good. Yeah, uh, pretty clean play. I think that the Mario, like like you said, it's just about movement. Like you gotta learn how to get in. It's so hard to learn how to get in with Mario, it, it especially really if you're is. just picking him up for the it first really time. It really is, and uh, especially against a character like Pit, where if you're facing a character who's you know, like that. And if you're p facing a player who specializes in that kind of play, that kind of patience, mm. it's going to be really hard to try to force them to do something wrong.